Today I would like to share with you four important facts of life that every person needs to know. Have you ever wondered who made the mountains or the animals? How did man get here? Could there really be a God? Well, as we look around this planet, we realize that everything has a design. You look at this watch, for example, and you know there must be a watchmaker. You look at a beautiful painting and you know there's got to be a painter. Look at a building. It didn't just get there on its own. Someone had to build it. And as we look at the intricate designs of our planet, we realize there must be an intelligent designer. Well, the Bible tells us that there is a God who created this planet. In only six days, God made the light. He made the air we breathe. He made the seas, the land, the fish. He made the, the birds in the sky, the animals, the plants. And most importantly, God made man. Well, how did God do all this? Well, first of all, we un must understand some important facts about God. God is perfect. God is holy. God is powerful. He can just speak the word and create whatever he wants. God, who has the power to make this world, also has the ability to reveal himself. And he chose to do so through a book we call the Holy Bible. In that Bible, we learn that man was made after the image of God. How's that, you say? Well, we look at plants, and we realize that plants have seeds, they can reproduce, but plants can't talk. Now you look at animals and you say, well, animals are pretty intelligent. And I agree with their instinct. They can do uh, quite, quite a few uh, amazing things. But God can't speak to animals and animals speak to him back. God can't love animals and animals love him back. No, not the way God made man. You see, God made man with a heart. God made man with a mind. The ability to make choices. The ability to love. And God wants man to love him in return. Well, the first man God made was Adam. Adam was uh, given a job to name all the animals. But you see, the animals would not be a match for him. He couldn't speak to animals and, and love animals and, and have a family with animals. So God put Adam to sleep and took from him a rib and made a woman. 